Hi everybody, Ted Haggard here from St. James Church in Colorado Springs. Hey, I ha I don't know how you're feeling about the current elections, but I hear about the this person and that person saying we need to create jobs. We've got to create jobs. We've got to do things to create jobs. And certainly in a free market society, anything above 6% unemployment rate is a problem because you need about 6% of the people switching jobs and improving productivity, improving their own productivity in order to keep a free market society producing to its maximum. But the issue isn't really how can we create jobs. The issue is actually how can we be more productive. Because pro the most productive people, the people that are producing more than they are being paid, have jobs. And so the idea is how can I make myself a more productive person if no one is willing to pay me right now what I need with my current skill level. And so if we're unemployed, then the challenge is how can I become increasingly productive to increase my personal value, the value of my time and the value of my skills, so that someone else is willing to pay me for uh, that time or those skills or that knowledge so that I won't be unemployed. Uh, an attorney depending on their level of expertise, is paid a certain amount for their relationships and for their knowledge and for their abilities. And a high, highly skilled, highly knowledgeable, well-connected con attorney in a city can virtually charge what he wants. He can make a lot of money. A brain surgeon can make a lot of money. A, a skilled architect can make a lot of money. But uh, so, th so the, the narrower... The skill area, like a brain surgeon or an architect, the more they're able to make, then if anybody can do a job, like anybody can do certain things, if anybody can do it all, then those are the people that would be the first to be unemployed because they are not being product. They, they, their production level is not worth the amount of money they're demanding, therefore they are unemployed. So, bottom line is, if you're not making the amount of money you would like to be able to make, Think about how you can increase your value and what you can do so that you will either know more for people to be able to pay you for it or so that you will be able to produce something that people will be willing to pay for or provide a service that people will be willing to pay for. Therefore, your value has increased. Um, if, y if you are totally unemployed and not working, you can think, okay, Right now I have a few resources. How can I use those resources not just to spend time but to use a seed like to get a better education or to get training in some job or area so that by the time I run out of money or when I run out of resources then I can be uh, gainfully employed. Either start my own business uh, and provide a service there or, or somebody pay me for it. Okay, so... I wish our politicians were not saying, I need to create jobs for these people, and it is not good when Obama says, I have created jobs, because that's not the way it works. The way it works is the government provides an opportunity for people to be able to increase their value, and once they've increased their value, then they provide goods and services that people need, and then there's an exchange of finances, and everybody creates wealth. And uh, so the government should not be in the business of, quote, creating jobs. The government should be in the business of helping uh, or providing an atmosphere where people can increase their personal worth so that all of us are able to produce wealth, all of us are able to pay one another for our own uh, for expertise, and as a result, everybody's life gets better. Okay, well, just a little tip. Okay, uh, God bless you. Have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you next week.